What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we are having some fun in the Coliseum. We're going to be using a Guts Heracross team that features Clefable, Milotic, and then you got the Sandstorm combo, Garchomp, and Tyranitar. You guys already know the deal. If you do want to support me as a content creator, and if you do enjoy the content anytime, Make sure you like this video. Make sure you click that big subscribe button and join the Genius community. Seriously, the support has been absolutely amazing. So thank everybody who has been watching my videos, who's a subscriber, who has been liking up the videos all around. So seriously, thank you guys so much. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Harry Cross. Definitely a very cool Pokemon, but the only problem with using him is he's legit a glass cannon. He's either going to take out a Pokemon one shot or he's going to get taken out one shot. There's really no in between with them. He's just super strong with no defense stats. We got the Flame Room as item to trigger that guts as its ability and then we are rocking a move set of close combat mega horn both for stab facade for a nice little coverage move which is double damage when this thing is burned and then protect for our final move so like i said we're gonna try to set him up with the clefable kind of roll out from there second pokemon is the clefable like i said we're gonna set him up with clefable we got follow me we got moon blast we got calm mind and safeguard we can follow me shots allow my boy to actually set up or i can just protect turn one let that gut set up and then just follow me out and allow my hair cross to a lot of damage we're also rocking an unaware ability alongside with the items for his Pokemon is going to be the leftovers to recover HP at the end of every single turn. Third Pokemon on squad is a nice bulky Milotic over here. And I absolutely adore this Milotic right here. It is just super good in all different situations and a great Pokemon to bring on the team. We got the Citrus Berry as item. We're rocking competitive as his ability, which is so good at BDSB considering Intimidate is a huge threat. I feel like most teams have an Intimidate Pokemon. Of course, my team doesn't have Intimidate right now, but most teams are rocking an Intimidate Pokemon. Move set for this Pokemon is going to be Scald, Recover to get HP back, Hypnosis put Pokemon to sleep, and Coil to get that Accuracy, Defense, and Attack boost all in one. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be another Pokemon that can actually help my boy set up my Heracross. We can fake out turn one, we can trigger Guts, and we can kind of just roll from there. We also have Ice Punch for Stab, Throat Chop for Stab, and Icy Wind for Speed Control with this lovely little Weavile. Ability for this Pokemon is going to be Pickpocket, so once we use our Focus Ash, we can potentially just steal Quick Item and just get it off the person's uh, Pokemon. Last but not least, we got that Focus Ash. Best item for Weavile, you gotta give it the Focus Ash. I feel like if I'm not using the Focus Ash, I use the Expert Belt, but Focus Ash is definitely better. Next Pokemon on squad is going to be Garchomp. And I was thinking this team needs a bit more offensive power, so I threw in the Sandstorm combo. I threw Garchomp in here on the front spot with that Bright Powder alongside with the Sand Veil as its ability. And then we got Sword Sands Protect, Dragon Call, and EQ, which is a great moveset for any Garchomp. Final Pokemon, like I said, we got the Sandstorm combo. We got Tyranitar Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, Rock Slide, fairly normal with Sandstream ability. And then item this thing is holding is the Life Orb to make this thing do a ridiculous amount of damage. But guys, there's the team preview. Cannot wait to get rolling with this Heracross squad. Let's hop to the Coliseum look to get some wins we're rolling into battle number one and we're going up against a Gengar team I definitely have to get a Gengar and BDSP to showcase for you guys there's actually a few Pokemon in BDSP that I have to get to showcase for you guys if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comment section down below but this guy also has a bomb of snow for I guess weather control so we might have to watch out for that and then he has a uh, Garchomp, Blastoise, Heatran, and Cresselia how should I go with this one how should I play it? I feel like Heracross is a solid little lead here I feel like Heracross can do a lot of work we could lead it with a Fable or we could also lead it with a Weavile I'm kind of leaning towards more so the Weavile side. Hmm. Or do I go Fable? I feel like Weavile would be a little bit better. Because if he leads uh, Heatran and we go into Clefable and Heracross, he could just double down on me and just rip into me. So I'm going to go Weavile, Heracross to get us started here. I am going to bring Garchomp in the back end. And then I think I'm just going to bring Milotic. I feel like Milotic can get some work done. Coil up, kind of set up, get rolling from there. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Roll. Oh, we got legendary song. Isn't this like Axie or uh, not Axie? Uxi as Elf and Mesprint song? Definitely is. But this is kind of scary right here. This guy is going to rip with uh. This guy's gonna rip with Heatran. I do have the focus action. I might have to pop it here. Which is probably exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna roll into this, and then I'm just going to fake out onto the blast with slot. That's gonna be my play. If this thing wants to send a heat a heat wave, that's fine. I do have my focus ash, and then I can ice you in the next turn. Pretty much just close combat, and knock it out. So we're gonna see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. But maybe Heatran and Protect. Never know. Heatran is definitely a little scary Pokemon. Definitely a scary Pokemon. But yeah, I was saying, like, let's not go into Clefable just for this reason. And of course, I went to Weavile and he still can double down with a Heat. <laughs> it's just like he can still rip into me. I'm going to protect my Heracross here. Try to get that Gust to trigger out here. And he is going to not protect any Pokemon. I'm going to fake out the Blastoise. Get the little Clapskies. And this thing's probably going to drop a Heat Wave, right? Heat Wave comes through here. We block. I do not mind using my Focus Dash. As long as I don't get burned, I should be fine. As long as I don't get burned, do not burn me. 
It doesn't even, didn't even use my sash. You weak little Pokemon, and it burns me. Oh my lord, and it burns me. Okay, uh, from here. Um, let me see your speed, Heracross. We'll take the burn on the Heracross all day. We'll take the burn on the Heracross all day. But what's your speed at Heracross? I want to see. How fast are you? 150. You should be able to just pummel that thing. You should be able to just pummel. You should be, you should be able to outspeed. I'm not even going to go for an icy one. I'm just going to close combat you, dump on you, and I'm just going to throw chop across this slot. That's going to be my play all day. There's no way he outspeeds me. He's going to end up withdrawing the heat channel, which is totally fine. And who's he going to go into? Somebody that's not going to take this close combat well. Gengar. What a play. What a beautiful play. Throw chop's going to fly through here. I'm going to slap up some damage there. Not do too much. A close combat's just going to get dodged. What a play by him. He's going to shell smash at this point. Um, okay. Shell Smash coming in hot. What a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. Shell Smash coming in hot. What a beautiful play. Wow, yo. Swaps into Gengar like that. No problem. And he has, uh, what is that? Left Herbers or White Herb? That's gotta be Herb. Yeah, he's gonna Herb up. He's going to Herb up and Burn's gonna chip away some damage. So he could protect. Which I think he might do. I think at this point we just have to go into like a play like this. Like a close combat. What do we make a horn? I'm gonna combat on this slot. Just finish you off, and then I'm just gonna go through and throw a chop over on this slot. Hopefully we can land it. Hopefully we can get it after this battle, but he's looking scary, dude. He's looking scary. Cause if he outspeeds my Blastoise, let's say, or Blastoise goes first, which is exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna go after Heracross. Heracross able to soak. So unless he's not double hitting move here. Oh, throw chop comes out here. Bring it down. Nice shot. And he's gonna go with a sludge bomb. Who are you taking out here? He's gonna double down to Heracross. Okay, so smart play. Doubles down to my poor little Heracross. So if he didn't swap into Gengar like that. He would have been thriving. This thing is orb too. He's orb. My Weavile is going to go down the burns. Mm. No good. This is no good. You have Milotic right now. I could protect my uh, Garchomp here. I could protect my Garchomp. Wow, dude. What a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. It's a beautiful play by him. To swap into that, that Gengar like that and predict a close combat. Smart play. What a play. What a play. Dang. And he doubles down into my Pokemon like that. That's a beautiful play. Um, I think I'm just going to protect. I could EQ across the board. I'm just gonna protect you, and I think I'm just going to set up a coil here. Or I can go for the hypnosis lane. Hypnosis lane could be enormous for me, which I'm gonna go for. 60%. We kind of need some RNG on our side, right? We need some RNG on our side. He's gonna protect the Gengar. I'm cool with that. He protects Cigar. Our jump's gonna protect as well. Cool. And what's Blastoise gonna go for? Blastoise is gonna go for an Ice Beam, which we block. It's beautiful. Can we put this thing to sleep now? Can we tell it night night? Land this. I need you to land this. Let's go. That's a big time hypnosis lane. It's a big time hypnosis lane alongside with the block. I do dig it. I do dig it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to start dragon calling down. Actually, I could sword dance up. Which I am going to do. I'm going to sword dance up and I'm just going to scald across. I'm going to sword dance my chomp. I'm going to sword dance my chomp. Because there's no way this thing wakes up a one. No way. It's guaranteed sleep this turn. It's guaranteed sleep this turn. But we're going to predict the. Uh, we're gonna sword dance just to double down with this uh with this swords dance. Okay, so he's thinking about what he's doing. He has the heat in the back, which I'm really not worried about with my Garchomp and my uh my out on the field. I feel like these Pokemon right here, I think we're relying on this two-turn sleep here. I feel like if this two-turn sleep can come out here, we could be thriving here. I guess he tried protecting or he was just going first there. He's so gonna go for an energy ball, which we should be able to soak pretty well. That's kinda scaring me. But we do end up soaking pretty well. I just I still have a citrus berry as well. So Skull's can come out here. We are gonna sword dance at the same time. You're beautiful. And now we're gonna drop this in. Okay, cool. Citrus berry is ready for Milo. Milo's gonna scald, it's gonna take out the Gengar. I really do like what I'm saying. Is if this Blastoise is asleep one more turn, oh my lord, we can be sitting so well. If this Blastoise is asleep one more turn, I can dragon call it, I can take it out, no problem. Swords dance. Um driving. And if he goes into what's it called? He goes into heat train here. She's not going to. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, I feel like we have to take you out. I feel like we have to take him out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's asleep this turn. And do I scald? Do I recover? I might recover this turn. Actually, I'm not gonna recover. I'm gonna scald and look for a burn maybe on this Pokemon. This one plays out. He's gonna end up with strong Garchomp. I'm cool with that because I'm scald. He's gonna have to go into heat train here. I think he was trying to pull my dragon call into that slot, which I'm not doing. And of course he wakes up. No! No! Why you have to wake up? Bro, come on, man. Why you have to wake up? Why you have to wake up, dude? We would've been thriving. We would've been thriving. Battle number one is in the dumps for us. It's a rough start. It's 
a rough start because dude if we because one dragon call wouldn't have KO'd him we would have died regardless no way a dragon call would have KO'd him because just think about it I would have had he would have been dead here and we would have been thriving up against this heat train I could just start popping EQs he's gonna shell smash again it's over with it's over with there's no way we win this battle at least at least maybe I could take out this heat train bro dude the, I do that what did I say I said this battle's gonna come down to whether he's asleep on second turn oh dude if he was just asleep dragon call would have totally dumped on that thing gonna end up will o -Wisp with me i really don't care i'm gonna run this battle afterwards but i'm gonna actually try to kill the heat train but not because he's just gonna go and take me out i do have a citrus berry i could stay and i could have some fun with it oh we put him down give me the burn give me the burn on him i don't think we can burn him my malatix burn look at that yo one hp get out of my face with that citrus berry's gonna poke uh is there any way we can win this put him to sleep not like the only way we can win <laughs> just coil and start sleeping i'm gonna go for something i'm gonna go for something fun i'm not gonna quit so easily but dude what did I say? I told you guys. It's coming down to that sleep. It's coming down to the sleep. If he was asleep there, oh my lord, that was GG's in the can. It was GG's in the can. Flash cannons can come through here. Oh yeah, we're not going to be able to soak too well here. And hit this probably going to miss. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. What I tell you, yo, orange is gone. Orange is gone, yo. We land the sleep, and then the game was just like, nah, you only get one turn of sleep. That's so whack. One turn of sleep is like not even worth your time. But I'm just going to run this battle. We're going to hop through a second battle. Look for a first win with this hair cross squad. What a team to be going up against in battle number two. The first battle was definitely really close. Our opponent made a great play swapping into Gengar to dodge our close combat, but then he got lucky on that one turn sleep. Because if that play switch was asleep for one more turn, we would have definitely won that battle. But we're going up against a mono ice team. He's got a Bomba Snow to set the hail. I think it's the only Pokemon that can set the hail, right? And then he has a uh, Frost Lance with Snow Cloak. He has Mamma Swine. He has Lapras. And he's Rotom Freeze alongside with Articuno. So we definitely want to bring in a Pokemon like Tarantar. It could definitely do a lot of work on him. Pokemon. So I don't know if I should lead Tyrantar. I could also lead Heracross, but Heracross gets ripped up by a lot of his But I want to use Heracross, I really do. But you know what? I'm gonna end up leading uh Chomp. And I think alongside with Fable would be bad. Fable's not too shabby. I'm gonna go Chomp T Tar because I that's my problem. I do not I'd rather swap into weather, you know. That's something I would rather do. So you know what? I'm gonna go Weavile, bring Tyrantar in the back end, and then we're just gonna have some fun with this, throw Heracross in the back. Just for the heck. Just for the heck. Because Heracross is fun. Even though it gets like I said, it gets ripped by. <laughs> we're gonna look for this win here. We're gonna look for this win. I'm trying to showcase Heracross here. He's gonna end up leading these two, which I'm totally cool with. I could pick out turn one. I could roll into a sword dance if I really want to. My problem with Garchomp here is it's four times more. Um, what do I want to do here? Who do I want to fake out? Who do I want to fake out? I could Dragon Call into you and fake out this little booger right here, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, maybe he'll swap the Rotom. Let's see what he does here. Let's not swap anybody, so we're just gonna get off a nice little fake out damage here, and we're gonna chip up with the dragon claw. Let the little dragon claw coming in hot, doing half damage. Blizzard's gonna come through here, Weavile dodges it. Oh, come on, yo. But my boy doesn't dodge it, he's dead. But my boy doesn't dodge it. Dang, yo, I really want him to dodge it. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. Blizzard comes through here, and that happens. Okay, so we could hard swap into Obama Snow, that could definitely be a play. But I'm trying to think of what we could do here, because Tyranthar could come in here and do some work with Rock Really get some work. I'm thinking he might swap, right? I'm thinking he might hard swap into a bomb stone. Could be ugly. Which could be ugly, because we're gonna we're gonna put up the sand stream. I think he might hard swap into bomb stone here, but I'm still gonna drop rocks. I wonder who he's gonna swap into. I really do, because Rock Side's gonna come out here and do some work. Super effective on the both. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful little move. And then we're just gonna poke into I think we're just gonna double down on this slot. Just in case he doesn't want to swap Rotom. He does not. He does not swap anybody. The so Dark Chop's gonna come through here, and then Willow is gonna fly. Okay, over on the loop. That's a little bit better for me. I'd rather that than the T-Tar, you know? I'd rather that than the T-Tar. So Weavile's gonna get a nice little burn. Rockside's gonna connect. Beautiful. And maybe pick up a double KO. Make it happen. Let's go, T-Tar. Let's go, T-Tar. All day, T-Tar. We love it. We love it. We got a critical hit on Fridge. I love that name. Fridge. <laughs> we get a crit on Fridge. And Weavile, I think we're just gonna have to start uh, AC when we get some speed. We have Heracross in the back end. Heracross isn't bad as he can outspeed. He can do some work. He can do some work. I think he's might be bringing in a bomb snow at this point right i'll be surprised if he doesn't need it so and then his final pokemon i might have to say frost last right so he's gonna come out here yeah there's frost last this is gonna be a bomb so shiny frost last i should say which is really cool and is it gonna be a bomb so it is gonna be a bomb so so sandstorm's gone i'm kind of cool with that he does have snow cloak but maybe we can land his icy wind and get some rock sides some lovely little rock sides. but my only problem is going to be a snow cloak no bueno we do not we don't like that one bit but yeah, I'm just gonna rock side here. Probably my best bet, right? Super effective on the both. 
and we're just gonna roll into an icy wind. We have to get some speed control. We have to allow our uh, our lovely little T-Tar to get some shots off. That could be really, really good. Yeah, he just dumped on my my Garchomp, no problem. Land of Blizzard. I just wanted to bring Garchomp. I just thought Garchomp would be a little bit better. I thought he could uh, outspeed and get some damage, but it, it'd be like that. He's gonna end up dropping a Blizzard. Can we eat that up? Beautiful. No freeze on my T-Tar. Thank you very much. Icy Wind's gonna be able to fly. Slow down, everybody. T-Tar should go next. I'm gonna at least try to connect some of these uh these rock slides. I know Snow Cloak's coming out here, so Frost Ice might get a dodge or two here. It might get a lovely dodge or two. But as, if we slow it down, I feel like we have this match in the back, right? Rock Slide's gonna connect on both of them. T-Tar's MVP. T-Tar's MVP! He's MVP. Two Rock Slides, four KOs. You gotta love it. Match number two, rather quick, but hey, yo, we take those victories and we go one on one for today's video. Let's hop into a third, look for a winning record. Final battle coming at you guys, and uh, I don't know if this team is like gimmicky or not. Because he has Luxray, he has Pajarisu, and then he has Staravia alongside with Grottle and Ponyta. So I don't know if this guy's just like early game or he's trying to do something crazy, but I'm going to fight this battle for you guys. I'm going to get ripping with my boy Heracross and just roll out from there. I just feel like we just do go into these two and we're just going to roll them in. Can that be the only Pokemon I bring? I wish it could be. I wish it could be. But we're going to bring Heracross. We're going to bring Cofable. We're going to bring Titar. And then we're just going to lock it in lock it down. But this should be a rather easy match. But I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. I am on a time crunch here because I've been looking for battles for over an hour. Nobody wants to play this game today. Nobody wants to play this game. So I'm just going to I'm gonna take my anger out on this one. So this one's just going to be a fun gimmicky battle for you guys for battle number three. All right. Sound good? Sound good? If you guys do enjoy the BDSP content, make sure you leave a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. But this should just be easy, right? It should just be easy. I'm gonna mega horn though. I'm gonna mega horn and have some fun with this one. I'm just gonna follow me this shot, right? I'm gonna go home. Follow me. Let's see what he does. Let's see if this guy can actually get some work done. Let's see if we can actually get some work done. But I'm just gonna show off the power of Heracross in this battle. The mega horns can come through here and he dodges it. God dang it. Aerial Ace come through here. Oh yeah. Dude. We are here to soak. Razor Leaf coming out. We're here to soak. We're here to soak. We are here to soak. I'm landing this mega horn. I'm landing this mega horn. Yeah, I think this guy's just early game. And he wants to be like, hey, yo, let's battle. But I don't, I don't think he realizes that's like, that like, competitive Pokemon's a, a late game kind of thing. If this Moonblast takes out Star Arabia, then we know, like, it's bad. Yeah, I, I, I even don't even think it's going to take him out regardless. But this should take the thing, no problem. Mega Horn coming hot. Bang, see you later. Are we burned? Did our guts trigger? We get a crit, too. Woo! We get a crit, too. See a Grottle. Get the thing out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> We're taking our anger out in here because like I said, it took me probably like an hour to find matches. I kid you not. Like an hour to find matches. Moonblast gonna fly through here. Bonk. Slap up. Oh my god, dude. get the thing out of here. Get the thing out of here. This guy's gotta go finish the game. This guy's gotta go beat the game and then and then come back and burst jeans, alright? Get a team and then come back and burst jeans. <laughs> then come back and burst me. But Heracross is just gonna legit like steamroll this battle. Definitely gonna steamroll this battle. But at least we were able to bring you guys two solid battles for today. Like I said, I'm on a time crunch. I do a lot of stuff out throughout my day. I'm kind of rushing around at this point. <laughs> but still, I'm trying to get a video out for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy the content. So he's going to bring out his two strong Pokemon. So I'm actually like, I'm actually uh, intrigued with this situation. But I think I can just like close combat and drop you no problem. With Guts and just follow me in the shot, right? I feel like that's our play. These are actually his two strong Pokemon. Like Pachirisu is solid. And same thing with Luxury. So follow me. He's going to come through here. We're just going to uh, block some shots here. And I just want to play out here. Close time is going to fly through. It. Probably just dump on him, right? Oh, no. Do not. So this looks like yeah, rather strong. Rather strong. We do have follow me out here. So as long as he's not like discharging, I feel like we could be fine here. I'm going to go with Electro Ball. Electro Ball. We should be able to soak pretty well. Yeah, we're going to soak with the Patch Riso and the Thunder Shocks. Yeah, dude, like what kind of moves are you using? That's GG's. That's GG's. I'm just going to finish this battle. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We're going to close combat in that Patch Riso. We're going to tell it to go home. And then on top of that, we're just going to rip into this Luxray. We're just gonna rip it through this luxury with a moonblast. GG's. GG's. I think our guy quit. It's loading long. I think our dude turned off the console. Yep, there it is. He turned off the console. We got two and one for today's video. And third and final battle. It was, it was a little stupid one, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed. Not a bad set of three battles for today's video. Basically, battle number one and basically battle number two were our only real battles. Third and final battle was just a stupid battle, which I just ripped into the Grottle and the Star Ravia and had our opponent quit from there. But, yo, first battle, like I said, very, very close. If that guy didn't make that amazing read with the Gengar and did not get that Toon Turn Sleep, Blastoise would have won that battle. And then second battle, we went up against a Mono Ice Team, and my Tyranitar just legit ran from there. 
But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.